What is up you guys, my name is Oli and uh, if you haven't seen it already, I filmed a video talking about all of the physical changes that I've experienced since six months on testosterone because I am actually six months on testosterone today when I'm filming this, the 17th of January, but you won't see this till like a week later, so it's already been and gone, but uh, you probably already know. I'm literally not talking about any of the physical changes this month. If you want to see that video, then I will link it in the description below and also it's just my last video, you know. Are you that lazy? Just go check it out, please. Six months still fucking blows my mind. I think this is such a huge milestone to reach as a trans guy. And I remember when I was pre-C, I used to watch these kind of videos and just be like, holy shit, that's gonna be me one day. And now it is me and I'm just shocked. <laughs> so honestly, the biggest mental changes that I've experienced since starting T have just been, I feel like so much more confident. I feel so much more at ease with myself. I feel like I don't overthink things as much as I used to. It's definitely calmed my anxiety. I just feel generally better in myself. Honestly, there are some days, especially because I'm staffed at work, where I don't even think about being trans. I don't think of myself as different from a cis man. You know, there are days when my dysphoria barely even crosses my mind. Obviously, there are still days when it's fucking crippling and I haven't had top surgery yet, which is still a huge point of my dysphoria. Also, some changes haven't happened yet as much as I'd like them to, like fat redistribution. My hips still fucking suck, but there are days when I don't even think about those things, which literally did not happen pre -t. I forgot about my tea and now it's like lukewarm and this is just a fucking tragedy. Honestly, just really nice not to think about how people are perceiving me or thinking about am I doing this how a male would do it or blah, 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 because I am a male and people see me as male now. So anything I do is something a male would do because I'm a male and I'm doing it. Like, it's just so nice to not think about it. Like, pretty, it used to be to the extent where when I'm sitting down or when I talk to people or I'd be like, wait, am I saying this in a masculine way? Am I sitting in a masculine way? Honestly, I didn't know how this was going to affect me because I remember watching other people's videos on tea and they said that they hadn't cried since starting tea and that I have not cried since starting testosterone. I literally haven't cried in like six months, which I don't know how I feel about it. I, I've seen a lot of people say they really struggle with it and that they, they miss being able to cry and that it was like a huge coping mechanism for them. But it never really was for me. I literally remember the last time I cried. It was actually on a YouTube video. Hey, <laughs> uh, getting them views. No, I'm joking. Uh, it was when... The week before I started testosterone and I was meant to start tea that day and it all got fucked up and I remember I cried and that was the last time I cried. Fucking <laughs> hell. Yeah, I just, I, I, it's also hard because I don't know if I've ever been in a situation where I would have cried pre tea and I haven't, you know, it's not like I've had any traumatic experiences happen to me in the last six months, you know, I just, I don't know. Uh, in terms of like anger and stuff, I do get irritated easier. What, something I will say is I feel like I, I feel emotions differently. I feel like I feel them less. I just said feel like 19 times. I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like I just don't get as sad as I used to. And I know that sounds like a good thing, but I mean like even in situations where I feel like I'm not as empathetic, which is really bad. And I don't know if that's a tea thing or I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, I just do feel like I'm less empathetic. And uh, even when I do get angry, like I flip off and then I'm like fine again after like five minutes. And I'm like, why did I just do that? Like, I'm not complaining. I feel like this is kind of how I've always been. I just was more emotional pre t for lots of different reasons. Also, cis women tend to just be more emotional. So I guess that is to do with hormones as well. And I'm fucking Gucci with it. I don't care. I'm gonna have to chug it because I can't be drinking cold tea. Something that I um, definitely want to stop doing is I keep comparing myself to either cis men or trans men who are also far into their transition, you know, whether they're a similar range in testosterone as I'm in or like more on T or even less than T sometimes. And if they've had more changes than I've had, or I feel like their voice is deeper or they've got more body hair, etc., etc., I find myself comparing myself to them and like generally just getting myself down about it, which is a really stupid thing to do. I know it definitely doesn't get me down as much as it used to. Honestly, I don't even think about it that much anymore. When I was pre I used to compare myself to people all the fucking time. And now I'm just kind of appreciating where I'm at. I appreciate that I'm a different person and that my transition is going as well as it's ever gonna go. Honestly, like I'm, I'm literally just so happy. I can't explain it. Especially being south at work because I spend most of my time at work because I'm full time. It's so nice. I've, I'm literally just a guy like, there's no connotation attached to that. I have no expectations of me. I have no awkward questions, you know? I'm not saying that I wanna go completely stealth and just ignore being trans, but it is nice to have that time where I can just get away from it for a little while and just be Ollie and to have no, no fears in the back of my mind, you know? Cause when I'm around people who know that I'm trans, I tend to overthink things a little bit more. Unless they're also trans, then I'm Gucci. But like, if I'm around cis people that know I'm trans, sometimes I feel like, a little, not on, I don't know how to explain it, but like, I just, I'm like, please don't ask me something or please don't out me or, you know, I'm constantly like 
shit. I'm just honestly so, so grateful to be where I am. And it's honestly blowing my mind that I'm six months on tea. Like, I can't believe that a year is only six months away. Obviously, haha, <laughs> six out of six is 12 quick maths. Like, even seeing how my family have progressed with me starting tea, you know, like, my mom tagged me in a top surgery post the other day, and she was like, oh, this is gonna be you um, one day. And, like, it just warms my heart, honestly. Like, what the fuck? That's so cute! Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it for the mental changes, guys. Don't forget to check out the physical changes that happened last month, and I will link them in the description below. Thank you so, so much for sticking with me on this journey, and I love the fact that I've been able to document my transition, and that I will continue to do so. Testosterone, honestly, God, saved my life, and so will top surgery, and I'm just... I can't wait to be at a point where I look back on this and be like, wow, like, <laughs> I've changed so much even from then. But yeah, other than that, guys, uh, like I said, thank you so, so much for sticking with me. Um, and I'll see you next time.